FIFA has done what they can do as the FIFA Club World Cup draws was done today. And we now know the team and openings that will go head to head uh, in the coming days for the FIFA Club World Cup. The draw for that term World Cup in Saudi Arabia 2023 has set up intriguing stats for African champions like Al Akli. The Egyptian giants were qualified by winning the CAF Champions League who face either Oakland City of New Zealand or Saudi Arabian Al Itihad in the second round. Now, victory for Al Ali will pit them against South American representatives as they will take on the eventual winners of the Libertadores Cup in the semi final. Now, Ivoran legend Yaya Toure, a former winner of the tournament with Barcelona in 2009, assisted the draws on Tuesday, Jeddah. Manchester City have also discovered who they will be facing in the FIFA World, um, Club World Cup. Pep Guardiola's men have never featured in the prestigious competition but qualified in June when they beat Inter in Istanbul. By winning the UEFA Club, um, the UEFA Champions League, City have automatically progressed to the semi-final alongside with eventual winners of the Copa Libertadores. Now, of course, we've got joining us in this conversation Football commentator from Lagos, Nigeria, Bolu Omoni. Thank you so much, Bolu, for joining us on the show. Yeah, well, yeah. good evening. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. I, I, I've been wondering that this is a, a big um, gateway for Manchester City. They do not have to play the qualifying rounds. They go straight to the uh, semi-final and will wait for the winner between Al Itihad and also Oakland City, where Al Ali will be waiting for the winners of the match day one. How do you see this pathway for Manchester City? Well, uh, maybe it's part of the things FIFA wants to work with. That's why they are starting a new brand of FIFA Club World Cup in Italy that will have 32 teams like the proper World Cup. But it's been like that for a long time. The South American champions and the European champions start from the semi-final. And uh, we don't know who is going from South Africa. Yes, they are in the semi-final. Uh, Palmares, International, Boca Juniors and Fluminense. So whoever wins among the four, they will get to stay in the semi-final. But City, people say, yeah, automatically it's UEFA champions. They will win. But they have a little tricky time. They will play the winner between Urawa and Club Leon. Club Leon played the two best teams in their region and they won against the two teams in the semi final and they beat Los Angeles in the final. And for Urawa, they are the best scoring side in the Asian Champions League. So it's not going to be like an easy ride. City expected to win. They may even have Kevin De Bruyne back by then. Of course, uh, Pep Guardiola will be back in the squad. But it's not going to be a jolly ride like many are saying that City are automatic champions. City have won. No, they have not won. They still have to do the job. And there's nothing new to say about Alali. They are the greatest team in Africa. I saw a thread on how much Alali had made from Club World Cup mm. in eight attempts. Men, those guys have made money from FIFA. This is probably a call to Nigerian teams. Win the Cup Champions League and go and make money from FIFA. But obviously, City are still favourites amongst all the teams here. Treble champions, any team led by Pep Guardiola obviously have to give a huge task. But they definitely have to put in the shift. It's not going to be an easy task. But again, they are still the favourite to win. All right, Real Madrid are the latest winners of, of the Club World Cup, but they won't be in the competition this year. Um, but we've got players that are familiar with this turn, the likes of um, Karim Benzema, who will be representing Al Itihad this time around for the Club World Cup. What do you think will be getting that of 2023, Bolu? Well, uh, for Benzema, even in Bolu country, is also part of the uh, Malitians. Yes. But they, what those guys are doing in Saudi Arabia, man, they are, if they play country all-stars now, Saudi Arabia would likely beat every other person in the world of football. But Alitiad are probably one of the weaklings in this uh, tournament. But let's see if they can cross the first hurdle first. In the Asia Cup, they played the Arab Cup, they played recently. They lost in, the, I think, the quarterfinal. And um, Ronaldo's Alvaro ended up winning the tournament. So let's see them go past um, uh, Auckland first. From there, we can see, oh, okay, if they win, let's now see what they'll do against the of Egypt. But I, I think even if they go past the first game, Malali may be too much for them. But you can't take away what those guys have. Like I said, the girls in Bolo can't say there's Fabinho in the squad. There's the Portuguese guy, Jota, not the other one of uh, my, uh, Liverpool, of course. But they have strong squad. And that tournament in the Arab Cup is probably the start of something new for Ali Tihad. Now this is a bigger challenge, a bigger task. And like you already mentioned, Karim Benzema is probably the most expressed player in this tournament. Mm -hmm. And that can speak a whole lot for them. Let's see how far they can go. But I still think Manchester City are the favourite to win this football cup. I'm tempted to ask you, how would the chips fall? Because <laughs> we're looking at um, Manchester City with the way they are getting a quadruple. This will add to a full title for Pep Guardiola. How will the chips fall, Bolu? 
Well, for City, I, I think one of the things, the only manager to have done that six title in the calendar year was Pep Guardiola. He missed the chance to do the same thing again after losing the community shield to Arsenal. Mm -hmm. But I don't think he would want to do the regular gamble this time around in the Club World Cup. Like I said earlier, they may have Kevin De Bruyne back for this tournament, which is definitely a huge plus for them. Anyone that will stop Man City in this tournament, you'll probably drag them to penalty. Because one thing is certain. Do you City think Al Itihad will, will go all the way? Do you think Al Itihad will go? Al they are the only team that can test their might. I think if they go past the first round, they may not go past the second round. I don't mm. think that will happen. Um, uh, I love. I, I want Al Ali to go for. Um, they've been to, I think, three third place games. They've made myself. I want them to go for a game, maybe a third place. And who knows? Yes, yeah, so Al Ali has got eight appearance in the Club World Cup. So they are also the most experienced side and they are an African side. And we know how they've been able yep. to pull through drag teams in this competition. But they are without a pizza mozzi money. That's the coach that made yeah. them drag the other team. Real Madrid especially um, during the 2018. Do you think Al Ali has got a chance? Based on the side they are in, they are not in the side that will face Man City. Yeah. So if they can win their second round game, if they play any of the South American clubs and uh, maybe find a way to win that game, who knows? They may get all through to the final. And getting to the final for a team like Alali is probably a win enough, even if they end up, end up losing the final. So I, I would love to see Alali maybe semi-final or go all the way to the final. I still think City would win, but I believe Alali have what it takes. But if Ali Tihad should beat Oakland and face them in that game, Alali will have a very tough task. Like we said, Benzema the most expressed player in the tournament. There's Mbulukante also a World Cup winner. If those guys come to the party, and of course Fabinho, who has also won the Champions if they come to the party, those three guys have won this tournament before. So you can call them the most successful players in this tournament. If they play huge and they go all the way to beat uh, Oakland, they may do enough to also stop Alali. But I'd love to see the Ginger side go far in the tournament. Okay, let's um, just get your prediction or we'll be lifting the trophy. I just want to put you on the sport a bit. Sean told me one time, Bolu, how will you be a Real Madrid fan and love them? I tell them I love good football. Hey, I'm all for Man City to win this title. Okay, you're looking at a quadruple for Pep Guardiola. We'll be looking forward to that, especially when the competition gets on the way. But they've got stiff competitions there to go head to head <laughs> with. I'm also proposing an Al Etihad and Manchester City. That's if. Al Etihad doesn't get beaten by Oakland. Thank you so much, Bolu Moni, for joining us on the show today. It's always a pleasure being here.